Have you ever wondered about the variety of fishes you can meet while snorkeling in the Maldives? There are more than 2,000 fish species in their waters, so needless to say that your chances to meet them are really high. Just in front of your mask, you will meet countless tropical fishes with pretty names and colors, like the Moorish Idol, quintessence of the reef fish, the strange-looking trumpet fish, or the black tip reef shark who patrols the island shores, schools of oriental sweet lips, the noisy coral nibbling parrotfish, clownfish hidden in the anemone like Nemo. The list goes on and on. While meeting them is certainly amazing, being able to identify them and know more about their little secrets is even more fascinating. So, while you snorkel, take a moment to observe them. They are equally beautiful as they are fun to watch. So, without further ado, put on your snorkeling gear and follow me to discover 10 of your future underwater companions. Number 1. The Moorish Idol The Moorish Idol is a reef fish that's sure to catch your eye. You will have a great chance to meet them from your very first dives. Moorish idols are solitary fishes. They can be seen in pairs or in very small groups, but it's less common. Of all the fishes in this list, the Moorish idol is the shyest. They will swiftly escape if approached. Moorish idols are often confused with two of their cousins the schooling bannerfish and the long fin bannerfish. To be sure you're meeting a Moorish idol, check this. First, look at the tail. It should be black. Then, you can also look at the snout. The Moorish idol has a beautiful yellow saddle-shaped patch on top of it. Finally, if you see fishes cooling like this, you're encountering schooling banner fishes, not Moorish idols, nor pennant fishes, who, like the Moorish, are often seen alone, in pairs, or in small groups. One final thing about this beautiful reef fish. Gil, in the movie Finding Nemo, is actually a Moorish idol. Number two, the parrotfish. The parrotfish is my favorite in this list. When you look at it, the inspiration behind its name is pretty clear. The parrotfish has a strong beak that resembles that of parrots, and its vibrant colors also resemble their feathers. The parrotfish makes an unmistakable noise. Listen. This sound is created by their beaks hitting rocks and corals during meals. You clearly hear it when you snorkel. They are really noisy. But wait, there is something more about the parrotfish. They put back the corals and stones that are not digested into sand. It is said that in just one year, a single parrotfish can produce a ton of sand. The same sand that graces the paradise beaches of the Maldives. Number three, the Chinese trumpet fish. The trumpet fish is a fascinating creature to observe. Also called flute mouse, the name trumpet fish is inspired by their trumpet-like body. In Maldives, you mainly meet the Chinese trumpet fish. The trumpet fish belongs to a family of three species together with the tube snout and the cornet fish. You will see him swimming alone on the reef, hunting for its next prey. In Maldives, the Chinese trumpet fish can be seen in three main colors. Blue-gray, reddish and yellow. The yellow one is the most striking of all. 
but don't get fooled by its elegant appearance. Trumpet fish is a ferocious carnivore who's perfectly geared to kill. It uses various techniques and characteristics that makes him a perfect predator. Its mouth is a powerful weapon that sucks in prey like a straw. They're also masters of camouflage and can change color to blend in in their surroundings and attack. They are so clever that they use a rare strategy to capture their prey. They closely swim behind or next to another bigger but harmless fish to be less likely to be noticed by its next victim. This unusual hunting behavior is called shadowing. But it doesn't end there. Trumpet fish also adopts a sit and wait strategy. They hover almost vertically, head down, to wait for their prey. But don't be afraid of them, they are not dangerous to us. They only eat small fishes and crustaceans. And they are wonder to observe. the powder blue surgeon fish. You will often see powder blue surgeon fishes in shallow waters around coral reef, either swimming solo or forming mesmerizing schools. The powder blue surgeon fish belongs to a big family of 75 different species. All surgeon fish get their name from the very sharp spines at the base of their tail, resembling a scalpel used by surgeons, which they use for self-defense. As for the powder blue, its name is inspired by one more particularity. Its body, which has a beautiful powder blue color. But don't let their tranquil appearance fool you. They are also very territorial and aggressive towards other fishes and might charge you if you get too close to their eggs. They are not Dory from Finding Nemo. The funny amnesiac fish is a blue tang, a close cousin from the surgeon fish family. Number five, the clownfish. The clownfish is very common in the Maldives. You will see them in pairs and family groups, swimming around the anemone. There are approximately 30 different species of clownfish worldwide. In the Maldives, you will meet the black-finned anemone fish, exclusive to the region waters. The clownfish is also called anemone fish because of its total symbiosis with it. Together, they form a unique relationship and a very clever team. The anemone provides him with shelter and food, and in return, the clownfish defends the anemone from predators and parasites. What makes this partnership even more extraordinary is the clownfish's remarkable ability to thrive amidst the poisonous anemone. This incredible resistance is due to a mucus that protects its body. The clownfish you will meet in Maldives is not Nemo from the movie, but one of its cousins. Nemo is an amphibrian ocellaris, and the clownfish that you meet in the Maldives is an amphibrian nigripes. Number six, the convict surgeon fish. The convict surgeon fish is one of the most common fish in the Maldives. It's a daily encounter. Its name is inspired by its bold black stripes that resemble the uniform of a prisoner. But there's nothing criminal about this fish. It's a peaceful grazer of the reef. They might not be the most beautiful of all, but watching them swimming at the same path is almost hypnotic. You can follow them for hours. Plus, they are not very shy and can be easily approached. This elegant swimming prisoner is a schooling species. 
You will never see him alone, but always in huge groups along the reef, in shallow lagoons and during the day. This beautiful fish is part of the large family of the surgeon fish, just like the powder blue. It spends its time grazing on corals and boasts the famous scalpel on their tail. However, it behaves a bit differently from the rest of its family. It's very friendly and loves to interact with us. Number seven, the threadfin butterfly fish. With its graphic patterns, the threadfin butterfly fish is one of the prettiest of all. This beauty belongs to a huge family of more than 100 species and is one of the most common in the Maldives. Each butterfly fish has its own set of unique markings and colors. But the threadfin's beauty lies in the two series of oblique gray lines that cross its body and meet at right angles, creating perfect chevrons. The young ones often venture alone, while adults live in pairs. You can also see them swimming with other members of their family. Besides their unique graphic patterns, what sets these beautiful fish apart is their lifelong commitment. This lovebird keeps the same partner for life. It's the most romantic one. Number eight, the black tip reef shark. Yes, you heard right, but don't worry, these graceful creatures are more curious than dangerous. The black tip reef shark is the most common shark in the Maldives. You might have seen videos of these fascinating creatures cruising solo or in small packs near the shores. While these scenes may seem jaw-dropping, they are often exaggerated to create a bit of a sensation on the internet. These sharks are naturally cautious and shy away from humans, so don't be afraid. They are simply juveniles learning to hunt on their own, their mother being totally devoid of maternal instinct. During your stay in Maldives, you will probably see them on the beach shores at a few meters away. They are very shy and will quickly move away if approached. Once adults, they leave the island shores and wander around the house reef, where you will be able to see them meanwhile snorkeling. Young black tip reef sharks can be found alone, but you will usually see them hunting in groups of 6 to 10 members. They measure about 50 centimeters. Adults can measure up to a little more than two meters. Take the chance to observe these sharks from a distance. It's such a precious and fantastic opportunity to witness them in their natural environment. And this without the need for scuba diving. The Picasso Triggerfish. Number nine on our list is the Picasso Triggerfish, named after Pablo Picasso due to its stunning patterns and colors that look like a painting. You will meet him alone in shallow lagoons, digging with its mouth in the sand or around corals to find its food. It has a strange dining habit common to all triggerfish. It grabs both food and sand, but cleverly separates the two by keeping the food and spitting the sand. The Picasso behaves like the rest of its family for another reason. It's territorial and very protective towards its eggs. Triggerfish have very small teeth. They will not hesitate to attack and bite if they feel disturbed or threatened. So keep your distances and don't bother them. In this list, it's probably the most aggressive one. They also have retractable spines on their dorsal fin that they will lock into an erect position to protect themselves from predators. Finally, to make this beautiful fish even more interesting, it sometimes makes a small growling sound when surprised or angry. Listen. Oh, 
all trigger fishes are fascinating to observe. But look at this video of a titan trigger fish, a close cousin of the Picasso. Just don't do that. Keep your distance and enjoy the show from afar. And last on our list, the Oriental Sweet Lips. The Oriental Sweet Lips is a fish that's all about style. With its graphic patterns and contrasting colors, this beauty adds a dash of glamour to the coral reef. You can see them hanging near the reef during the day, alone or in small groups. The oriental sweet lips undergoes an incredible metamorphosis. As it grows, its body transforms itself with new shapes, patterns and colors. Juveniles are made up of lots of black and white splashes. As they grow older, their body whitens and the splashes slowly turn into stripes. Their fins develop a vibrant yellow hue adorned with tiny black spots. This transformation is so striking that you can barely recognize them. It's like encountering a completely different fish. Sweet lips are also called grunts because they produce a grunt-like sound by grinding their teeth and then amplify it with their gas bladder. The sound you're gonna hear is not from a sweet lips, but from another grunting fish, and it sounds approximately like this. Listen. Strange, isn't it? And there you have it. The top 10 fishes you'll surely encounter while snorkeling in the Maldives. You'll be amazed at the beauty and variety of life that awaits you. See you in the dreamy blue lagoons of the Maldives. <laughs>